Good afternoon, uh, Mr. Mutaher Askoka. You are the mayor of Prizren, the second town of uh, the Kosovo. And uh, good afternoon, Mr. Boykan Abazi. You are the international secretary of the movement Autodetermination, the main uh, opposition party in Kosovo. But I will start with one question with you, with you the mayor of Prizren. You are here in Paris to attend a cultural event tonight organized by several organizations like Patrimoine Sans Frontières, Association Albania, and also Centre Culturel du Kosovo in France. Mm. So could you tell me more about what is this uh, diversity of the cultural heritage of Prizren and maybe what are the obstacles to promote it? Yeah. So first, uh, Prizren is, as you said, uh, second, time in, uh, second uh, city in Kosovo and uh, also it is regarded as historical capital of uh, Kosovo because uh, of uh, its uh, cultural heritage and historical past and uh, it comes from uh, Roman times. We have a castle, we have many religious uh, objects uh, like uh, architectonic uh, heritage and uh, what is important in, in, in this regard is that the prison is one, one of the very few uh, cities in the, in the world where when you take a picture, you can take uh, a picture of where there is an Orthodox Church, Catholic Church and Mosque in the same frame because they are very nearby and um, it tells about the past uh, of the prison where people uh, from many different backgrounds, uh, both religious, ethnic and uh, in terms of language, live together and continue to live together uh, to these days. So in this regard, uh, we are trying to preserve this and to uh, take this into the future. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in, in terms of uh, uh, wor uh, work of the municipality for, for this, we are trying actually to preserve the historical uh, center of Prizren uh, through uh, basically uh, overlooking the, any uh, new constructions, trying to, pr uh, to reconstruct the old buildings uh, where Actually, we have some problems in terms of implementation uh, uh, and opening of the many architectonic and religious sites for the tourists and for the visitors. In this regard, for example, I have made a request from the Orthodox Church to have uh, uh, some of their sites open for the visitors. However, uh, we didn't have a very good cooperation in this regard uh, until now. Uh, also, with the reconstruction of some houses where a municipality is also trying to uh, invest and to reconstruct the uh, old buildings. Um, uh, we have problems, especially with Belgrade, in terms of cooperation and uh, having people coming back and investing in those and getting an agreement. However, I think uh, we'll overcome this until the end of the mandate. Yeah. Yeah, thank you very much. So you are making the good uh, the good connection with maybe the relation with Serbia, so the dialogue between Kosovo and Serbia, because probably there is a consequence of that into the the management of prisoner and cultural heritage. So maybe Boyken Abazi, you could tell us more about where does this dialogue stand today, and maybe what are the alternatives you could uh, propose uh, for the dialogue. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here today at Fondation Jean Jaurès. And uh, I would like to start by saying that um, the Republic of Kosovo is a parliamentary republic. It doesn't have the same mixed uh, presidential system that France has. The role of the president in Kosovo is a lot more ceremonial when compared to the role of the president here. So in Kosovo we have a president that is talking on behalf of the state of Kosovo without a mandate from parliament, without a team without principles and without a platform for the dialogue. In many ways, one can consider this uh, approach the president is taking similar to that of a renegade of the Republic, I would have to say. Uh, in contrast to these actions of the president, who is talking uh, on his own and without mandate from Parliament, we are proposing four steps. The first step is uh, for us to take a look and evaluate with and evaluate what has happened since 2011 when this uh, dialogue started and it stopped in 2017 there is 33 agreements that have been made there is a report made by parliament finally in september of this year presented to par made by the government i'm sorry presented to parliament but the parliament is refusing to discuss the report one of the reasons why this may be is because uh, 
no, none of the agreements have been respected in full by Serbia. So that is the first step, evaluate what has happened. The second step for us is important to set our goals and list our requests. Uh, we have to keep in mind when talking, for example, about cultural heritage, mm. that Serbia has stolen uh, numerous heritage artifacts, cultural artifacts from Kosovo, which are currently showcased in Serbia as uh, Serbian heritage. But on top of that, Serbia has, uh, has a criminal history in Kosovo with uh, over 13,000 civilians killed, 20,000 women raped, 100,000 houses destroyed, over 200,000 cattle destroyed, and uh, the missing is not still being returned in Kosovo. There's still families waiting for to, to, to know what has happened with, with their dear ones. So we, we, we believe that it's crucial for the state of Kosovo to state its request and ask for war reparations. And after this second step, we believe we should stop and have early elections. The current government is delegitimized, it does not have the majority. And uh, as you have uh, followed the news, we failed even in uh, joining Interpol after failing to join UNESCO. So the international uh, status of Kosovo is not improving. Rather the contrary, it is deteriorating also because of these actions taken by our uh, renegade uh, president. Uh, step three, which we propose after elections and after a new democratic legitimacy has been established, is for us to draft a platform with principles. And uh, as a last uh, step, step four, so this is step three, I'm sorry, and step four would be to form a strategy, form a team with a strategy and leadership that can uh, present the requests. And we believe that uh, out of these four steps, they all should be public and transparent, except for the strategy, which we believe we should uh, keep to ourselves internally in order to gain the most out of this, uh, out of this uh, dialogue with Serbia. Okay, thank you very much uh, for this message. I think it will be well taken. All Thank you.